I only really have two goals in my life. The first one is to poop my pants in a cafe on Mars. And I think with the work that Elon Musk is doing to colonize the universe, that's an attainable one for me. The second one, maybe not as important, but equally as challenging, is to put the beat down on bullying once and for all. And I know what you're thinking. But Leon, didn't, didn't the Dobre, Dobre brothers, brothers already do that? We worked on many projects that involve anti-bullying. We're totally against that. Quite frankly, I thought that had worked. Bully who you want, better stop that. Making people sad, you can stop that. But after doing some more investigating, turns out, Bullying still exists, which, it, just talking about it gets me viscerally, SON OF A BITCH! But there is still hope, because while everyone else is asleep at the wheel, crusading hard to put bullying to sleep once and for all is my favorite band of quadruplet clout chasers, Z Nation. It's so sad that you pick on the weak, like week after week, you a turd and you're weak. What happened? No love, never got love, no hugs. Watch mouth man grab a dub. Feel bad for the kid you shove. Hey man, what you talking about? What are you saying, man? Woo! Night, night! I like it. I'm not messing with my girl, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's all what's up. I like it. Yeah, why don't you see yourself out? Call me optimistic, but if these boys keep dropping missiles like this, I'd give bullying two to three months tops before it's completely eradicated and our world just becomes like the Garden of Eden before those idiots ate the apple. <laughs> mm. Hello everyone and welcome back to a tapestry woven out of human hair. Can I just say, that my heart is tickled that you decided to spend a few minutes here with me today. I appreciate you. In March of 2018, I made a video on the Quadruplet Brothers Z Nation almost two years ago. I know we're only eight years old, but I still think you should listen to the Z Nation. Listen, listen, listen to the Z Nation. We had a little bit of fun breaking down their hit single called Flag. I also realized I had very yellow teeth. Not in real life, I just didn't know what color correction or white balance were at the time. We got to witness the roots of their anti-bullying initiative. Bullying is really mean and bad. Stop picking on kids and making them sad. Sprinkled in a few classic comment reads. 10 controversial albums that went plantium. <laughs> I can say when some sing. And you know, we ended on a high note, of course, because after all, it's just kids doing their thing, putting up some content on the, you know, actually I should say it's kids um, with their puppeteer father kind of pulling the strings to try and get their kids clouded up through incredibly cringy content. But you get, you know what I'm saying. All right, we've had enough fun with Z Nation and I just got to tell you, I got nothing but love for these guys, nothing but support. So after that video goes up, they reached out to me on Instagram. Turns out they enjoyed the video, thought it was pretty funny. And I actually, not for nothing, had the distinguished honor of being called a Zavage, which to my knowledge is an honor equally as prestigious as being knighted by the queen herself. So move over Paul McCartney. Here comes Sir Leon Lush, the unquenchable Zavage. So two years goes by, and to this day, I still get comments, hey, Leon, check up on Z Nation, they did so-and-so. So it sounds like they've been on the grind ever since, and it's high time for a checkup. In fact, speaking of grind, they reached out to me randomly about a year ago about doing promos, and um, I didn't respond because that's not my style, but, you know, I can appreciate the hustle. 706K on Insta? Okay, Dad, I see you and the boys putting in the work. All right, well, hold on a second. Is that Daddy Longneck? Oh, my God! The crossover I didn't know I needed, but now that I have it, I still, I definitely didn't need it, but... but <laughs> Mr. Z, up in your class, up in your school, school, school. Do the thing, give me the cash, give me the loot, loot, loot. They call me Hollywood. I am the first one. You don't want to mess around. You shot with a Nerf gun. Okay, wow. Uh... I think you know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna let Cody and Noel say it for me. Okay, bars or no bars? Bars. 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 How's Long Neck even supposed to follow something so hot? Nick, 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 I'm in Long Neck. You know I'm on deck. You getting shirt money. I'm getting lawn checks. <laughs> Everyday vacation. Might get a nip slip. I'm in the lead nation. We about to get lit. Hey! I'm gonna lit mm. Beat comes My back in. Lovely. I mean, let's face it, by today's music industry standards, which are, well, you know, that this song slaps harder than a stepdad. 
These boys have come a long way since pixelated square aspect ratio videos about flags. So that's pretty recent, so clearly the come up is real. But let's dig a little farther back on Instagram to get a little more of the timeline and some context maybe. <laughs> oh, making it rain on your brothers while wearing a low gang shirt and listening to Imagine Dragons. Humble beginnings. And in case you're wondering if these boys were all bark and no bite, well, they're climbing the ranks of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as we speak. So be weary of what you say about them because they'll put you in an arm bar until your tits fall off. While you report that Angel Nation was chilling in the lab, about to spit the floor of Michael Jackson bad. You always talk it down to people, treat them like a crumb. Hollywood's about to change your name from Rice Come to Rice Bomb. Ah, yes, the unsolicited rice cum diss track, a classic move taken right out of the clout chasing manual. I mean, seriously, who does that? So keep your head on a swivel, cause your fing time is in front of kids. Highly eloquent rice cum, all your content is fun. Well, shit. I uh, forgot about that. Dude, enough! Like, what are you guys even talking about? I guess Ricegum responded anyway, so you know, I guess victory for the Z Nation and uh, the growth continues. Bro! That was one time. I mean, if you're dad here and you're carving out a path for your quadruplets to be like a cringy, anti-bullying, diss track boy band, dance lessons are imperative. That's, that's, that's a non-negotiable. Speaking of dad, in my last video, this guy was still completely anonymous, I think, but in my digging here, he has shown up once or twice on their Instagram page, so here is the puppeteer uh, in all his glory. Hard work never fails. Hard work outshines talent when talent don't work hard. What happens when you have talent and work hard? Oh, that's on full display here, boys, I think. What happens when you work hard and never quit grinding? I'll tell you what happens. You get Daddy Longneck to feature on your latest hit rap song. That's what happens. Unstoppable, whoa, be a savage. Well, not to rub it in, but uh, as you guys know, I'm already a savage, so. Bullies are soft as butter. I mean, what can I say? This is, this is inspiring shit. Okay, hear me out here. What if dad was like relentlessly bullied growing up, so now he's channeling that regressed anger to help create these social media diss track superstar MMA fighting machine quadruplets? I mean, I, that's just a theory. A game theory. Single and ready to mingle, hide your girlfriend, Z Nation is in town. Town? Uh, in my town? Oh, f uh. Honey! Honey! You gotta get to the bunker! Sorry guys, I had to uh, send Mrs. Lush to my aunt's house. I can't, I, I can't risk losing her. Anyways, let's keep going. The nation Bro, she wasn't 18, you didn't know. What do you mean? Now she's out there making a scene while you're taking the off Fast forward a few months, and in typical Z Nation fashion, they dropped an unsolicited diss track on Takashi 6 9 T69 in the prison, dropping soap. Crying to the judge, cause he got no hope. Yeah. Feeling so small, he gon' need a telescope. Yeah. Like, hanging on the edge, he ain't even got a rope. Jeez, that was kind of dark. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he wasn't able to respond, unfortunately, due to um, being in jail. So not a lot of clout from that one. You are weird, then five months ago, they released my undisputed favorite track by them uh, called Fart Love. Ooh, smell that? That's love right there, baby. Fart love, fart love, fart love. Know what I'm talking about? Wait, are they waving around shit-stained boxer briefs, dude? <laughs> what is going on? Oh. I know that you're feeling the love. Baby, I fought like a thug. They asking me why I did it. I do it just because. I mean, this is every kid's dream, and they are living it right here. To make a song about farts, farting, let's face it, probably the funniest thing on the planet. It's part of human physiology and it's a sound made from like air being expelled out of your sphincter and making your butt cheeks clap at a very fast rate. How is that not funny? I'm 34 and I still laugh at it. The shit stained trousers are a little aggressive, no cap, okay? But to me, this is some of their best work right here. Hey, yo, that's my word. You be smiling like a turd. You belong in a zoo. You'll be sounding like a bird. All that money, now your soul is replaced. They could fix your teeth, but they couldn't fix your face. Okay, not for nothing, but if your brand pillar is anti-bullying, Maybe you shouldn't bully people in your music, even if they're famous. Y'all not mad at parents that they're having their kids talk slick on the motherfucking internet? Y'all not mad at that? No? 
I don't think that was cute. That's not cute. Anyways, I won't get into the Cardi B side of that because listening to her talk is like my kryptonite. <laughs> I just, ugh. Uh, but let's just, we're going to go to the, some of the latest posts on Z Nation's Instagram. They unfortunately adopted this like white bar with the captions thumbnail type of thing, which is like Facebook video-esque, but I don't know, maybe it's working for them. It just gives me angina a little bit. Bullies are pussies. <laughs> When a bully picks on the wrong kid and gets owned. <laughs> Be kind, it's free. They could fix your teeth, but they couldn't fix your face. I'm confused a little bit. Don't bully kids or this can happen. Hey, what you talking what about? Right what are you saying, man? <laughs> that one is so good. He hits him with the Randy Orton. Performed by a real stuntman for entertainment and bully awareness purposes only. Stop, bro. my hat. Bullies are punks. Stop bullying. Speak out against bullying. Performed and posted to shed light on bullying. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of mixed messages here. Uh, so we're promoting fighting to kids a little bit here, which what I don't know. Like I'm not really about that turn the other cheek life, so I'm not even gonna get mad at that. But then, like your Instagram growth strategy is to post videos of your kids performing skits about beating up bullies when those videos themselves will probably result in your kids getting bullied. <laughs> That's a, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Personally, I would stick to the unsolicited diss tracks on famous people in the beautiful ballads like Fart Love. She told me she hates my arrogance, but well, you can enjoy this flagellation. And honestly, can we just cut the shit with this bullying awareness shtick and call it what it really is, which is just using the popularity of bullying and anti-bullying to try and become Instagram famous? I just can't imagine a scenario where hiring an adult to get punched by your 12-year-old for an Instagram skit is gonna actually help anyone that's really getting bullied. Anyways, this is their latest post from four days ago, and I think it's safe to say that Z Nation is not to be trifled with. Thank God I'm already part of the Savage Nation because I'm not trying to get a black eye. So it's safe to say that these quadruplets and their father have been on the grind for the past two years, and I think there's big things in store. I just can't wait to see him perform Fart Love at the VMAs in a couple of years. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love it if you subscribed if you haven't already, and if you don't, well, you're a bully, and bullies are soft as butter, as we learned here today. So, your choice. And finally, if you could just rub mayonnaise on the inside of your thighs and hop on a treadmill and run 15 miles at eight and a half miles per hour and then hop off and immediately hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, I would greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes.